morning so brian and kayla are on a anniversary trip this week so you just get me and dad occasionally if we remember to pick up video cameras We're getting ready for harvest. We're still a little bit away. Got more weeks probably. We do have some corn. It's turned a little further than that. But uh, right now we are still, it's like we have the bottomless corn bins. So we are still hauling grain. And uh, yeah, that's what's going on today. I wanna get up the road. All right, so everything is looks to be in tip top shape for a trip to Circleville. Uh, we're not hauling to the, our regular, our Chillicothe Cargill or Bloomingburg to the ethanol plant. Um, I actually got a little bit better price on a contract at uh, Circleville, so we pulled a few a few loads up there. This should be the last load on that contract. All right, we made the trip. We survived. Hanging out, waiting to be dumped. One thing about Cargill up here is you don't get out of your truck. I mean, they, it's, it's, I guess, full service shopping here. Just sit and wait. All right, just wait to scale out. Give me a ticket. Well, it takes a minute to spit the completed ticket out of this scale. It's whatever. Uh, I'm glad this is the last load we're hauling. I think some guys up this way are starting to take crop off. And it uh, looks like they're getting some traffic today. And last week when I was hauling up here, it was pretty quiet. One or two trucks, and that was about it. But, uh... All right, guys, in a turn of events here, uh, Dad's feeling kind of puny. Like I said, Brian's out of town on vacation, uh, anniversary vacation. Congrats on 10 years, Bubby. Uh, back from Circleville with the Kenworth, and we're supposed to have the Freightliner into the shop today. Uh, a guy is going to look at the one of the rear axles. It's leaking pretty bad. Um, not something that, uh, not something we're going to tackle with all the other stuff we got going on, getting ready for harvest. Dad's feeling a little puny though, and that means I'm going to have to put this guy on the road and get him to uh, to the repair shop drop the trailer and hit the road now i've driven the freightliner i've driven the volvo as you know the kenworth and automatic so i've never driven one of these other trucks on the highway so keep our fingers crossed folks we survived the truck has arrived all right so we're done hauling corn for the day it's a little bit warm so we find us an air-conditioned job new bush hog who dis you ready? Say cheese. Uh oh. You talk. You talk. You talk. You talk. You talk. All right, done mowing for the day. But at any rate, uh, tomorrow's plan is gonna gonna haul some grain, a couple loads maybe. Um, might get that big bin cleaned out hopefully. One thing I should mention: Friday, uh, we got a a new delivery. Uh, I know Bush Hog Plus. What else can we get here? Seed wheat's in for the year. So we've got some Seek Consultants, uh, 13, 13526, 15, 13537. So that should, uh, that should get our wheat crop in the ground this year. I'm not sure how we're going to get it in the ground, to be honest. Don't think Brian's made any announcements just yet, but we've got something coming. Hopefully in time to plant wheat with, but, uh, yeah, stay tuned for that. Pretty excited. Way more exciting than a bush hog. But, uh, at any rate, we'll see you tomorrow. Hey, everybody. Mr. Floppy Ears, my goodness. What's that apparatus? What's that thing on his head? Get out of here. Oh, he's got a sword. Okay. Are you taking good care of him? Yeah, he can eat with his cone on. He can't eat? He can. Oh, he can. Okay. Right. I didn't know if you had to like feed him with a spoon or what. Morning, all. All right. Picking up where we left off yesterday, but uh, first I'm gonna have to steal a vehicle. I own three different vehicles and all three are currently down. <laughs> My wife's Tahoe has been fighting a bum transmission for a while, just keep putting it off, putting it off, putting it off because we have two other vehicles, right? Silverado has a fuel pump blowing fuel everywhere. It'll take a couple days to get that in. Might try to drop a tank this afternoon, I don't know. Duramax is actually at the shop getting brake lines put on because blew those out on the way home from a campground pulling my camper. It was a fun drive. But I just so happen to know where a vehicle is, it's not gonna be getting used for a while. Thanks, Brian. Apparently jokes on me. Son of a gun. Let's check out the rock store. 
Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. God, I don't even know if I can get in the damn thing. Oh man, we made it. Got the livestock fed this morning. That's squishy. Hi, dog. Where's the baby at this morning? If you didn't see my Instagram post yesterday, Squishy and Dog are now the proud parents of a miniature Squishy. Actually, he's pretty decent. There he is. Hi. Hi, buddy. You better come out and eat. We're going to mess the clean up over here, don't we? Check the distributor just to make sure. Load out. Load out. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All right, so since it's just me. Baby sitting asleep in a truck. I'm just gonna let the sweep run. It actually does a pretty nice job cleaning up in this bin. So we're just gonna let it run, load the truck, and uh, yeah, when we're out of corn, I'll just go ahead and go inside and finish her up. Good grief, who made this mess? Hmm. Hmm. Leg, drag, number four, unload. All right, still cleaning bins. Got, uh, I don't know, maybe one more load out of the big bin over at the depot, the, the newer green setup. Finished up all of our contract corn from last year's crop this morning, and uh, they're paying a 90 cent premium in Circleville. I thought I was done hauling up here, but here we are. Um, and it looks like everybody in Pickaway County decided the day was to, today was go day. Uh, I'm not sure how many trucks will fit in this tiny little parking lot, but they're all here, including me. So, so far I've been here about 10-15 uh, minutes. I'm probably 10 to 15 minutes into a two hour wait probably. I don't know, we'll see. It looks like a lot of guys are dumping and scaling out, but this line is just, it's not going anywhere. Three and a half hours later, I have made my triumphant return. Morning. Positive news is I think I'm getting ready to haul the last load of corn out of this bin. Do you have some beans to haul? Maybe two and a half trucks. I'll be hauling those to Chillicothe so it won't be, uh, won't be going over the road a whole lot. But I say over the road, I guess. I guess I'm going 10 minutes as opposed to like a half hour or 45. But I don't know about you guys, but I'm starting to get kind of bored with hauling grain. Let's see what we got in here. Yeah, we ain't got a trick load. We got that pile and then the mess. And after we get everything swept out of here, I need to go around to every bin and, and reattach the monitor lines. So I had to turn the truck around almost as soon as I uh, started the leg this morning because, yeah, I guess strong on the wind and uh, the dust was blowing over top of the cab. So. We do that for a couple reasons. One thing, the cab just gets covered in, in dust and you, it makes it really hard to see out of the windows, the mirrors, the hood looks chalky, it, it's just ugly. Um, yes, we do wipe things down, but another reason we do that is right now the, the, the machines or the truck's running and we've had to clean up some air conditioner units. Filters get plugged, condensers get plugged, that kind of thing. So it's actually more cost effective to do it this way. You guys remember what I said about the wind, right? Well, it's decided to change. And it looks like it's changing again as we're speaking. All right, so once I get the corn bin cleaned out, start back in on this bad boy. I don't know, we've got maybe two or three loads of beans in here. Keeps good, the AGI system has done its job, so pretty happy about that. 
Okay guys, the uh, bin has made, or the bin sweep has finally made its revolution. It's back to its origination point here. Uh, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna fire it up one more time, let it go all the way back around, and then I'll hop in and I'll pull stuff away from the walls. And then I'll get out and fire it back up again. And hopefully that minimizes the amount of work I've gotta do. Our master electrician has now got it so that I can just push these buttons. There it goes. Didn't make it very far before it got hung up on the floor. You guys hang out right there. Some dummy left his broom out in the rain last night. I don't know who that was. Since Brian's not here, I'm gonna blame it on him. It's not hot today, but it doesn't take long to work up a lather in here. Whew. Whew. All right, I've got it all pulled away from the walls. We get back out of the bin here, turn the sweep back on. Let, us work, let it work its magic while I cool off. Hey, I almost forgot to come get you guys to bring you back for the fun part. So, yeah, I'm going to put you back up on the wall. Sweat along. All right, all right, kind of in no man's land now. Uh, so the truck is loaded with, I'm gonna guess, you know what, I'm gonna guess 700 bushels. So we'll check the ticket when we when we scale out. But uh, didn't quite have enough corn to fill it. Bin is now empty. Like I said, it's cleaned up. Got to tie down the cables and uh, be pretty well ready for, for harvest. Um, but I've got some time to kill. I did promise my wife that I'd go to lunch with her and Mason. Uh, so, it's about 25 after 10. I'm going to try to kill about 20, 25 minutes. Cleaning the drive through up. Made a mess. I don't know who did that. Brian, obviously. Uh, but anyway, I'm going to clean up Brian's mess here and uh, go to lunch with my wife. And then probably go spend my afternoon in line at Cargill. I don't know. Uh, maybe not. Maybe not. We got a little bit of rain down here last night. So I don't know if it rained in Pickway County. Maybe to slow those guys down a little bit. All right. So my belly's full. Got a clean shirt on. Got some good news. Good news. Bad news. I don't know. Bad news. Bad news. Uh, looks like the basis has dropped in Circleville. It no longer makes sense to take this corn to Circleville. So we're just going right up the road to Chilcotty. And then we're going to get back and start loading out beans, which it apparently is going to go to Circleville because it's about 50, 60 cents higher. So still going to make that trip north today. All right. So I had guessed 700 bushel. 641.43 bushel. And that's all the corn from over here. All right. So we're going to switch up some commodities and uh, See if we can't get a load of beans hauled today and get the truck loaded for tomorrow and hopefully make short work of this bin tomorrow. Um, electrician has got us configured over here now that uh, I can't control the leg over here, but I do have that running. You can see the uh, fully spinning right there. But the way this is set up is top button turns on. This button. Yeah, we're gonna get this truck loaded up. I think it's going to circle build again. I, unless, unless the prices have changed on me in the last 20 minutes. But uh, we'll get it loaded up, get this one up there today, and then, like I said, come back and get it loaded for tomorrow. I think maybe maybe three loads total out of this bin should do it. And that'll close the book on 20, uh, 2020's bean crop. So, I thought I was gonna get a couple loads of soybeans hauled today. Um, apparently, it didn't rain in in Circleville, Pickway County area as much as it did in Ross County. Um, didn't slow them down, I mean, that's for sure. Got up here, pulled in a lot, pulled into what I thought the bean line was, and the guy in the scale house said, no, nah, you gotta go to the back of the line, buddy. So, I'm not sure how long I've been here, but they close at five o'clock, and it's currently 5.30, so. Um, I wanna say it was, around three o'clock when I got up here. 
Yippee! Just getting back to the depot after another three hour trip to Circleville. Um, looks like it's rained a little bit since I've been going. There's water standing out here in the driveway. Hi, ah, kitties. Good morning, Squishy. Are you hungry, boy? Are you hungry? Hi, dog. All right, guys, morning again. A little foggy this morning. Hopefully finish hauling some beans today. Hopefully, I don't know, I've got some, I got an appointment this afternoon I've got to get to. So I'm gonna have to knock off a little bit early and uh, get cleaned up because I'm sure you guys can tell this is a fairly dusty, dirty job, so. All right, we're loaded up. We're gonna head off to Chillicothe. Uh, hopefully there's no line. We can get in and out real quick. Come back, get some lunch, load it up for round two. Yeah, hopefully we'll be able to get this thing cleared today. I don't... Morning. It's Friday morning. That means everybody's favorite YouTube host comes home tomorrow. And I'm sure just as soon as his plane touches down, he will uh, he will begin filming because I know he missed you guys just as much as you missed him. <sighs> but anyway, for today, you're still stuck with me. This has really been lonely and boring without Dad or Brian being around. All right, gang, here is what is left of 2020's soybean crop. So since I'm doing this by myself, trying to do it as safely as possible, um, what I've been doing is letting the sweep run and basically just pull away from the wall. Um, I'm gonna let it continue around, take care of what's left piled up here. Get this swept out away from the wall and then let the sweep go around a couple more times. Um, stay out of its way. No one over here has ever been involved in a rain gun accident as far as I know. Unless Dad has got some crazy stories. I would like to keep it that way. So since I'm the only one over here doing this, uh, yeah, I'm just going to stay clear of things and let it do its job. All right, so the sweep's done its job. That's that. Clean as a whistle. So it's occurred to me that this, this might actually end up being the most boring episode of Brian's farming videos ever put on the interweb. So hopefully after I get back from town with this truck, maybe something will change and, and maybe we'll do something that's not quite as boring as cleaning out grain bins. I doubt it, but we might. Hey guys, so all the beans are going. It's done. Done, kaput, over with for a couple weeks anyway till we get some fresh stuff in and uh, start filling beans, or filling, filling the bins again with 2021 soybeans. Um, while I was hauling that, got a phone call, the freight liner was done. And I was not expecting that to be that quick of a turnaround. And kudos to the guys in the garage. There was a seal leaking right there in that rear axle. And uh, I guess there was a vent that was slightly plugged. So it, uh, you know, cause the seal to blow from pressure buildup. Uh, haven't hooked it up to the trailer yet because I do have to get in here tomorrow morning. Man, nice and bright in there. But anyway, fix some wiring. And uh, I've tried to do this in the driveway at Cargill before while it's hooked to a truck with a thousand bushels of corn on it. It's not very fun, so I figured we'd leave it unhooked until I get a chance to get in there tomorrow morning. Uh, I did say earlier that, you know, in order to salvage this video, you know, this is probably the most boring paint dry content that you guys have ever seen on this channel. I did say maybe we'd try something different. So, as you all know, I am get a little sketched out whenever I get off the ground. So, I thought maybe I'd take you guys with me as far as I could up this bin. What do you think? We gonna make it to the top? Yeah, probably not. But we'll see. We'll see. We might. Yep, there's a step. It's like the Amtrak to heaven. So two years ago, when we, uh, before the leg was operational and we had to haul some grain out of here um, to empty some bins to get ready for harvest that year, my first harvest back, I would sit right about here and watch the 18 inch auger that we had set up run from here out to the truck to load out. Actually, I don't think it was an 18 inch, but whatever auger we had set up. Uh, this is where I sit and watch the trucks fill up. So I've been at least this high. Up we go. Be terrible if the battery died on this camera right now, huh? Okay, we'll stop for just a second because we've reached another milestone. 
I have been to that landing. I'm gonna say currently we're about three feet shy of being that high here. And yeah, my heart's starting to pound a little bit. Whew. Okay, oh my, something creaked. Okay. We have reached an all time high. Holy crap, my heart is really pounding. I'm gonna sit down for a minute. So the crazy thing is, yeah, I'm really like hammering here. And I'm not that much higher than where I've already been. Oh man, it is a nice view up here. Nice breeze too. Guys, I hate to say it, man, I gotta go down. I gotta get back to the bottom of this thing. So, uh, you know, we made a, made a great effort today you know what this is this is farther than we've ever been before and by by we i say i mean me so i'm gonna head back to ground level and we'll try this again soon we'll make it we'll make it one of these days or maybe we'll just get up and go now i don't know one step at a time right oh the sunlight's hitting my face And uh, yeah, guys, I'm setting down, but uh, it's like a raccoon's been up here. I'm so glad that he is not up here currently. Holy crap. And now I'm gonna shut this off and try to get off of here. Guys, we made it to the top. We made it back down in one piece. Um, my heart is right about here. And I am drenched in sweat. But uh, for all you folks that don't have that fear, kudos to you. That's fantastic. I'm glad you don't have to deal with it. For any of you that are a little sketched out by heights, you can do it. Watch, Brian will not put this in the video or the SIM card will be messed up or something. And all this will be a for naught. <sighs> I'm not doing it again. <laughs> no cold water in the refrigerator. There was a cold course light. And you know what? I think I'll go ahead and indulge myself after uh, after getting this hop there. It's it's well deserved, right? Oh, it's been in there a minute. <coughs> it's a little rough. Huh? September. It is expired September 13th of 21. Today's the uh, today's the 16th. This is obviously three-day-old beer. Anyway, we're going to go clean the drive-thru now. <laughs>